Yes, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is well and thank you once again for tuning in. The webcam is flashing, but it is what it is. Um, how's things, mate? I'm good, mate. Why are you sat on the floor? Because it's the only place in the villa to do the stream. And it is what it is. <laughs> do, you know what's funny? Cool. do you know what's funny? Do you know what's funny? Yeah, you, the chat won't know this. When he came to Spain last time and I went to his, his, his father, mother and father in law's house, right? I walked in and he was doing a watch along. Was it Bournemouth? Uh, no, it wasn't Bournemouth. It wasn't Bournemouth. It, it was no, uh, Southampton. Brighton. Right? It was Brighton. Brighton. And I walked in. I was like, "Where's Henry?" And they were like, oh, "He's doing his watch along." So I've opened the door and he was just sat on the floor, exactly the same spot he's sat in now. It's like, the, the only, it's the only yeah. room in the villa which has got, which is cool. So I was sweating me nut off. It is hot, isn't it? It is really yeah, hot. Look, there's nearly 200 in here already. Make sure you are liking the video. Get over to Leaf channel and subscribe if you're new. But let's talk about it. Tottenham in a title race. Second in the league, mate. What's your thoughts? My thoughts are exactly the same as every season with your football club. Sorry to upset any Spurs fans that are watching this, but it is the history of the Tottenham. And this time last year, you were also in the top four with Antonio Conte at this point. Yeah, so, but we're, we're, now we're, we're, we're playing good football, don't we? Oh, that's all you fans want. You just want to see good football. I see it all on the concourse. You're all singing about Ange Ball and all of this. It's like the vibes are back at Spurs. Daniel Levy. You've got to see what Ange is doing, mate. Can't off Dan Emirates. It, it, Daniel Levy's laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, the club shop's getting record sales. The the longest bar yeah. in the world's getting record sales. The cheese room, right? Fans are happy. They're all singing. They're all wearing the merch, and they're seeing a couple of good games of football. That's how easily pleased your fan base are, unfortunately, mate. <laughs> Which is why. Yeah, yeah. Look. And well, let's just be real, he's already knocked you out of one of the two cup competitions that you actually could have had a go at. 
So you've got one cup that you can have a go at. And the last time you won that was 30 years ago. We might do a double, mate. <laughs> well, I don't get into it. Obviously, Tottenham 2, Sheffield United 1. Um, probably the worst refereeing game you will see in a long time. Oh, I don't know. Ours yesterday weren't too clever. I mean, how we honestly, man, how we didn't have a penalty. Madison gets he gets none of the ball, completely kicks Madison in the air. And some of the decisions, mate, it was like all, all the fans are going, Oh, what why are you celebrating? Uh, why are you celebrating beating Sheffield United? We had 12 minutes added time because of the amount of time they wasted in the second half. And then in the, the best part about it was Madison's laying on the floor, wasting time, and stretching out. And then he, the Sheffield United players are looking down at him and he's laughing. But um, did you watch the Tottenham game at all? I didn't watch it on for Man U, but um, I see the last five, ten minutes. Of so they're in time. turmoil at United, aren't they? They're, they're... That was hilarious, mate. Absolutely hilarious. That is prime banter right now. Yeah, and the <laughs> fact that they're so bad off, off the pitch as well. Yeah, it's kind of taking the heat away from Chelsea because <laughs> they're just as bad. But yeah, I watched the last five, ten minutes. The pigeon, a good header. Oh, Do you know what? I did, um, when I was speaking to Matt yesterday um, after we did the show, he said that is actually a dance in Brazil. It's not just he's doing it. It's actually officially a dance in Brazil. The, what, the pigeon? The pi Yeah, it's officially a Brazilian dance. <laughs> It's just come back from Brazil, and he said, it's, "No, it's it's definitely a dance, mate." And I was like, "Wow!" But yeah, he got, he scored a good goal, man. Good header, and um, I knew I just too. knew you were going to score again. I just knew you could sense it in it. Yeah, and then you got the win, man. The stadium erupted. They all went back on the concourse for the longest bar in the world to serve up more beers. All singing about Ange Ball. All went back in the club shop to buy some new merch, and uh, now they're all mouthy online. Giving it the big well, enough. One of our four teams are beaten in the league, second in the league. Yeah, now they're all getting mouthy that they're going to turn us over at the end. Good luck with that one. We know how this story plays out every year. <laughs> Do you know what was funny? Yeah, no. Do you know, Do you know what? I'll, 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 I've said it to you. Go on. I said it to you last week. I don't think we will go and beat you lot, but I think we can get. I think we can get a result. I think we can get a draw, and I think most Tottenham fans out there, ninety percent would take a draw. Yeah, that's because it's the. The mentality of your football club. You have said it on the show. Yeah, I just, you take, you've you've only beaten us at our place what, once in a decade. Yeah, but I'd go and say, like, beat them. They're rubbish. We should be beating them. Yeah. No, but most, like, most go, oh, I'll take a draw. A draw ain't no good to me. Most Arsenal fans would take a draw at our place. Yeah, but again, most Arsenal fans are deluded. <laughs> Hence why we ain't won anything for so long. <laughs> most football fans in general are the same. Oh, I'll take a draw. That's a good result away from home. No, it ain't. Yeah, if you want, if you actually want to win the title, you can't be having draws. Yeah, you have to have win, 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 win. Because Man City ain't stopping anytime soon. And if you want to win the league, you got to beat them. So, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Do you know what was funny though? Sheffield United manager, what a waste up. Yeah, sitting oh. there moaning about the referee. No, um, sorry, the referee, but we're playing out from the back and moaning about the ref and all of this and that. And I was like, we're going to see how much money they spent when they got promoted. Yeah, 33 million profit. Sold their, one of their best players, their, their midfielder. Oh, they sold to Berg Burnley. to Burnley, didn't they? To Burnley, yeah. 33 million pound profit. And he's got the audacity to sit there crying about a ref. Maybe go and cry to your owner, the owner, mate, for more money. Yeah, they, they, they're doomed, mate. They're going down. Yeah, and it's funny because they, if they had actually gone and spent some money, they might have won the game. They might have been able to throw a couple of defenders on and just park the bus a bit better. Yeah, if they'd actually spent some money, they might have got a draw against Man City instead of conceding in stoppage time. So Let, let's say hypothetically, though, let's say we did go hypothetically to your place and win. How big do you think the meltdown would be? <laughs> this lot will find a way to spin it somehow, mate. They'll blame the ref, they'll blame VAR. Yeah, they'll they'll blame you being time wasting or you fouling our players or something. They'll find a way. They always do. They always do. But who have you got after after us? Uh, good question. I have no idea. Let's have a look. We've got Arsenal and then Liverpool, which are two two incredibly tough games. I mean, we haven't beaten Liverpool, I think, since 2017. And obviously, you lot, you know, did the double over us last year. Um, and right now, I mean, I'll be honest, you lot, I think, you're getting results, but I don't know. There's something you're not quite 
playing, are you? I mean, how Trossard is, is only all of a sudden now just getting minutes. My baller. Hey, how weird is this? So you said who we got next? We've got PSV, obviously, Champions League. The only place to watch Champions League in London this season. Um, just saying. Um, then we've got you. And then, for some reason, the Champions League is not on the following week because we're in the EFL Cup against Brentford. And then we've got Bournemouth away. Then the Champions League's back again. That's weird, man. Normally, normally it's Champions League, Champions League, Champions League. It's not yeah, Champions yeah. League, EFL Champions League. And then after that, we have Man City and then Chelsea. So you might not get a win for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got Sevilla away, Sheffield United, Newcastle away, Sevilla, Burnley, Brentford. Yeah, we've got some very easy games there, to be fair. Very easy. Let, let's be honest. PSV should be beaten. Um, you, you got a fairly comfortable group, didn't you? All jokes aside, okay. like, yeah, I'm, you should I'm be topping that group easy. comfortably. Bro, well, we should have beaten Olympiacos. Should have beaten Villarreal. Should have been and Sporting Lisbon. Been... Yeah, so on paper it looks good, but this manager has had three campaigns pains in Europe and um, knocked us out at home in all three of them. In the second legs, we've been knocked out. So, yeah. But it, again, if we do not get out of that group, oh, but it was the first season back in it. The excuses are just never ending at this club, mate. So, so this, this is your next, these are your next um, six games. How many of those next six? I mean, I, I'll be honest right now. I'll say it right now with chest. You ain't beating City. Yeah. Right? And I don't think you'll beat Lens either. I don't know, man. Like, I think, I think we'll beat PSV. Although saying that, we lost to them last season in the Europa League. <laughs> oh, Shabby Simmons. If you can't see what Shabby <laughs> Simmons doing, mate, you can never off Danny Ajax. And Gak, uh, not was it was it Gakpo? No, Gak, yeah, Gakpo. Yeah, yeah Gakpo and Shabby Simmons. Yeah, um, we'll win that game. We'll beat Spurs. That's the standard three points every year. And um, we'll probably honestly, lose you know, what Kevin them. Keegan said, I'd, "I'd love it if we beat them." <laughs> I'd love it. He looks straight. I'd love it if we beat them. Yeah, and you didn't, did you, mate? <laughs> uh, we'll Brentford. lose. To, we'll lose to Brentford because this manager will throw that competition in the bin like he does every year. Um, Bournemouth away, we should win as well. And then Longs away, that's not an easy game. But it is easy in, in terms of looking at it on paper. We're, we're a better they did team. well last year in France, didn't they? I think they got second or third, didn't they? Yeah, I don't know where they are this year. I think they started pretty bad this season. Then you've got, you got Man City. I bet City, in, in that midweek, building up to the Arsenal City game, I bet City are at home in the Champions League. Longs are bottom of the league. <laughs> They're bottom of the league. Yeah, they're bottom of the league. They said that Roma were bottom of the league, and last night they won 6 0. Seven, wasn't it? Lukaku on the, got on the score sheet, wasn't he? Let, let us know how, how many how many points or yeah, how they many games seven. they won seven out of the next six and they winning. Seven nil, man. Wow. I reckon you beat uh, this is honestly my my prediction, right? I reckon you beat PSV, I reckon you draw to us, I reckon you beat Brentford, you beat Bournemouth. You draw to Lens and and draw and, and lose to City. Mm, we're definitely losing to City. I, I've just checked uh, La Liga table as well. Sevilla won their game at the weekend, which takes them off the bottom. <laughs> yeah, one, was it one 0 wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Was hey, we've, had it, we've had a result with this group. We've had an absolute result with this group, mate. <laughs> yeah. What what are PSV saying? PSV. Let's have a look. Make sure you are liking the stream, people. There's 350 in here already. Keep uh, smashing oh, the like on the video. PSV at top of the league. They've conceded one goal in four games. Yeah. So really, so truly, that's the hardest game out of the group as it stands after these games so far. But Sevilla won't be easy away. I know that's, uh, um, we've got them coming up shortly as well. But yeah, Sevilla's not going to be easy because... You can't get the ball off them when they when they want to play it around. Yeah, very mm. technical team. And going to their ground, I think we've got the I think we've got them away first. I think I think we're playing back to back actually, but we should get out of that group. We should we should be all of the teams that in the next six games, apart from City. Do you know the yeah, one you, game out of all this lot that we're going to lose? Luton. Yeah. <laughs> Could you that imagine losing to Luton after beating Arsenal and Liverpool? <laughs> 
That's uh, imagine, imagine, imagine we beat Arsenal and then Liverpool and then lose to Luton. Crazy. But after yeah. after um, obviously you lot and Liverpool, we've actually got a relatively like it's not. I think we'll beat Luton. I think we'll beat Fulham. I think we can beat Palace. Chelsea at the moment are awful. Wolves, and then it gets a bit tougher with. Villa, City, West Ham, and Newcastle. But and, and, yeah, you've got your cup final down there. What day is that? The cup final. What do you mean their cup final? Cool. Oh, 5th of December, cup final. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Sava and uh, Lawless going at it? On, oh, um, mate. Carnage, mate. It was a mid off. Yeah, it's a mid off. <laughs> well, West Ham won a trophy last year. Yeah, they did to be fair. So they're, they're, what they're faces are Moisey in. This, yeah, but this is the thing, right? Your fans wouldn't accept finishing fifteenth and winning a cup. I would, but they'd but they'd accept finishing second in the table, winning nothing. You've got to win the trophies, man. That's what the game's about. Let us know in the chat. Would you finish fifteenth in the league if it meant winning an FA Cup? All day long, I would. Mate, when, Ars- when Arsenal did the cup double in 93, yeah, because we, we was good once upon a time, when we did a cup <laughs> double against Sheffield Wednesday in both finals, we finished 12th that season. But we won both cups. So if you finish, I think the Europa League now gets you in the Europa League, but the League Cup now gets you in the Conference League. You mean the FA Cup? You said, you said the Europa League gets you in uh, the sorry. The yeah. FA Cup gets you in the Europa League and the League Cup gets you in the yeah. Conference League. Let, would you, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd take happily finishing 15th if it meant give me an FA Cup every day of the week, yeah, twice on Sunday. Yeah, Tom Hill is right, twice on Sundays, mate. Yeah, all day long. At the end of the day, you lot ain't won a trophy for so long. I don't know if any of your fans are saying they wouldn't want to finish 15th and win a cup. Right, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's like- I mean, you know our fans, we're half of them are clapped anyway. Your, your, your manager even said that he um, he don't just want to, what, what did he say? He don't just want to obsess or something over just getting that first trophy, yeah, because it means we could finish 10th. And what? He actually said that in a press conference. So along them lines, I'm paraphrasing, yeah, right? But it's mad. It's yeah, mad. I think, like, all, all, all jokes aside, I think if we, if we if we were to finish fifteenth and win an FA Cup, for starters, we'd be in the Europa League, and it's we haven't won an FA Cup in thirty two years. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, big up Ryan who says, um, "Question for Lee: Would you prefer Spurs to go to Arsenal and sit back, or go to Arsenal and attack from minute one?" Yeah, attack from you- minute one, attack from minute one, please. I beg you, come and do this Ange crap up at our ground. I beg, oh, we got Ange ball. Look at us. We're pressing so well. All the movement. Rah, rah. Yeah, okay, cool. I told you it'd be a decent manager for you and you get good football, didn't I? Yeah. It's almost it's almost like I, I knew. Well, I did know. Yeah, because all these people that pretend to watch different leagues and all of that, I'm not sitting and pretending I watch Celtic. But I've watched enough of Celtic because my pals are Celtic that live around here. Yeah, I've watched enough of Celtic when he's been their manager to know that you'll get a decent style of football. Yeah, so mm. now you've got the vibes back, you've got the decent style of football back, but the difference is you're now coming to play Arsenal. Yeah, you're not playing Sheffield Wednesday, or Sheffield United, sorry. You're not playing Bournemouth. Yeah, you're not playing Luton. You're playing us. Yeah, at our ground where you ain't won for donkey's years. What, 2011, wasn't it? 2010. All right, let's say, let's, say we, let's say we win, right? How much credit is that is due to the manager? Oh, you have to give the credit, credit to the manager. You pick the team that won. <laughs> but, but at the same time, the same time, I beg you come and play this Ange ball at our ground. Yeah. High pressing on the halfway line. The, the back four is in the centre circle, higher up in their half. All your players are in that half. I beg you do that. Yeah. We will absolutely rip you apart on the break. Well, you've got no Martinelli. You'll have no Saka potentially because apparently that injury is not going anywhere. Don't worry, man. We've got Trossardino, we've got Jesus, like Havertz. <laughs> I beg he scores against you. I beg he scores against you lot. Honestly, man, I, I generally think, genuinely, we're gonna go and get something. Plus, you're playing Wednesday night. He has to go, surely he's got to go full strength against PSV. He has to he has to play, he's got to play Sacco, he's got to play Jesus, he's got to play Havertz, he's got to play somewhat fully strength against PSV. If you get a couple more injuries... He has got to go full strength. 
Yeah, there's no way you can throw that Champions League in the bin. But I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, listen, we're going to see how thick Arsenal's squad is. Not in terms of how dense they are. All right. Well, in terms of how big our squad is. I keep hearing we've got such a good squad now. The bench is amazing. Yeah, same bench as last season. But now, apparently, it's all amazing. Fabio Vieira's now turned into Kakar, apparently. Um, Kai Havertz is the My next... My baller, I heard people saying on, uh, on Twitter. Uh, Big up uh, Ryan for the Super Chat. But, yeah, so I heard my baller's coming out. They're so easily pleased. A couple of good games in this lot have got their pants down. Do you know what I mean? Like, turn it in. Bit in the ballers. Let's, let's see if they do I'm it for a whole season. Mind, mate. Did you see Alan, Alan St. Maximine's goal? I, I didn't watch it on for that game. I, he was quality in that game. Honestly, he was absolutely class in that game. Morris should have had a couple, had a goal to Yeah, I, I didn't see Morris stepping up, but I did see Sam X mine stepping up. <laughs> You're a joker. You didn't even see the game. <laughs> yeah, I watched the highlights, though. Uh, big you up to Vince. Uh, Henry crazy. is a disgrace. Big up to you, mate. Yeah, Did Vince you like McMahon. You tell him. Vince McMahon's told him. What? Um. So you've got PSV, and then you've got us, and then you've got a few other winnable games. Um. Uh, Martin Lilly, six weeks apparently he's out for. Would you is it just six drop, weeks? Apparently so, according to a lot of the ITKs, with a hamstring injury. Would you just slot Trossard straight in? All day long. Uh, it's funny, it's funny that it's not funny that he's out injured for six weeks, but it's funny because all the people that were coming at me yesterday saying he's not done his hamstring and he ain't out for six weeks. He walked off the pitch. Yeah, and then Fabrizio with the dagger. Bosh. Arteta in his presser after the game. <laughs> Martinelli has a hamstring injury. What do I know? It's, it's almost like I was watching the game and he was holding his hamstring. <laughs> like, come on. What's the matter with these people? But yeah, Trossard's got to start, mate. I've said this before, uncomfortable conversations for this lot that fancy other players. Uh, but he is our best player. He's our best player. Yeah, look at the goal he scored for Belgium. Not that I care that he's, I'm not Belgian, yeah. But that goal he scored for Belgium the other night, he's dribbling past people, yeah, mm. and then bang, right foot. Look at his goal yesterday. Left foot, banger. The guy's equally as good on both feet. He can dribble, he's quite quick, yeah. His passing's decent, and his work rate's there. So when you add all of that together... I think he's our best player. Yeah, there's no other player in our team that is that good all round. In our, what did you make of, um, of Odegaard yesterday? Poor. What about Saka? Very, very poor. Saka was dead. I can't lie. He was dead. Yes, Odegaard, Odegaard, mate. The funniest thing that Odegaard did in that game is when the centre-back had the ball. Yeah, faked to, like, to kick it and he was trying to block it. And he went round him, right on the edge of his box. If Odegaard nicks it, he's clean for on goal. And as he went and done it and feigned to, to kick it up the pitch and chop back inside, Odegaard slips and face planted the deck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he literally slipped on. Bang, face first. Me and Ola were in tears, man. But Do you, you know what? On, on, on yesterday's game, what? like you haven't been the Arsenal of last season, but you are grinding out results. 1 0 at Palace, 1 0 at Everton, you know, 1 0 to the Arsenal you boys used to sing. Um, yeah, yeah. It's all well and good getting these one nils, one nils. Yeah, cool. But it's ultimately got a lead to sign. Yeah, it's all well and good getting these results. And we've gone way away from what we did last season. We're not going out and attack, 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 attack anymore. Yeah, but then saying that, every team we've played so far is part of the bus. Because they know if we if if they don't, then we're probably going to rip them. So, Do you know what, as well? Um, yesterday, there was, there was a lot of Tottenham fans coming out yeah, saying... Somebody's at my door. Sorry, one yeah, no worries. There was a lot of Tottenham fans coming out saying, "Oh, how are we going to deal with the low block? Can we break teams down that have that are sitting back? We're going to have the same problem." So, but then again, how does Man City do it every single week? They keep knocking on the door, and eventually they get their goal. But there's 400 people in the chat. Make sure you're, if you're new to the channel, you have hit that subscribe button. Make sure as well you are liking the video. Let's get it up to 200 likes ASAP. It's free to do, and massively uh, helps me out. There's a video dropping on Shameless Football very, very soon as well. Premier League predictions. We got Golden Hammer. Small club got lucky. They beat the likes of Sheffield at home and they're dreaming of getting a top four. Well, unlike you boys, we've got... Best uh, comment of the day, mate. Well said, Golden Hammer. Come on. We're kind of forever, baby. Yeah. West Ham are massive. West Ham are massive, mate. Irons. Irons. Yeah, Irons. Ma massive. Complete and utter. I'll get demonetized. Hey, uh, pick up yeah, Gil back with nine, your, put, your nine. Trophies on the table. put your trophies on the table. They got trophies. Yeah, all right. How many have won the last 43 years? 
One. We've won five. It doesn't matter. It's not about 43 years ago. It's about what you've done for me lately, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a... Um... You sacked you sack a manager who was sat fourth and ended up eighth. You've then hired a manager who's got you second in the table after five games. So you're back to where you was. You're in the top four. You should have just yeah, why, can't, why can't we go win the league? Chance of winning a trophy with Conte and you're up with this guy. Why, why can't we win the league? Why can't you win the league? You are literally two injuries away from capitulation. Madison oh, yeah, I know. We, we are probably not even that one injury. If Madison gets injured, it's curtain. Yeah. He was quality again. I've seen the highlights. He was quality again, mate. He's a top I've got a lot of stick. I've got a lot of stick and I come out and say that the, in the first five games, for me, he's been the best player in the league. Oh, it's one player in a month, so you're right. Yeah, but everyone, oh, you're negative, you're negative, you're, you're, you know, you're a typical Spurs fan. Um, big up girl, 1999, says, hi, Henry, will you be meeting Lee in Spain for Tottenham combined? Are you, Sorry? Are you, are you drunk? It says, Henry, will you be meeting Lee in Spain for no, Tottenham it says, combined? It says, Giri, not girl. <laughs> That's my dyslexia playing out on me, that is. Guy, man. Are you drunk? I'm protecting you, that is. Um, you Honestly, are you drunk? Mate, it's two o'clock in the... It's half past three in the afternoon, mate. Yeah. On a Monday yeah. afternoon. What's wrong with that? Sun's out. Have a drink. In fact, you know what? Anyway, what are we doing combined 11 and previews? Um, oh, we're meeting up Wednesday, right? Thursday. Wednesday? No, I'll text you saying Thursday. Wednesday. You're off your head. Can't, can't do Wednesday, mate. That's, that's her birthday. I'll be right in the dog ass if I go out and I lash in. Oh, mate, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't do Thursday. I, I text you. <laughs> I said in the text I can't do Thursday. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to get a beer because I feel like you, you're way You gone. said I can't do Thursday because you haven't got Thank a car. You. I said I'll get an Uber to you. What is the matter with this guy? Look, the title of the video says it's just banner. Are we in a title so race? But yeah, we are, we are going to be doing. I can't, I, can't, you... I can't do Thursday. Tomorrow's a myth. It'll have, to be, it'll have to be Friday, but it'll have to be early-ish. I ain't got no shows until the show with Rance at six o'clock on Friday. Yeah, so fine. We'll have until, until six. But yeah, we can we can film some stuff, man. Um, Elias, uh, the reason I haven't got the green screen is because I am in Spain and I am currently sitting on the floor. Yeah. So. In that lovely house of theirs is decided out of all of the rooms, and there is a lot of rooms. <laughs> it's decided to go and sit on the floor in this one. This is the only room that's cool. If you if you look up there, you can I don't know if you can see it. There's the fan up there. <laughs> see? It's nice and cool in here. Um combined eleven is gonna be interesting. Um yeah, it's Henry, gonna be easy. Gonna it's gonna be so easy to so easy to do. Yeah, that's the whole Arsenal team and the Madison. <laughs> what in the first five games? Yeah. Nah. You doji gets in over Zinchenko. Okay, I'll give you that one because I don't rate Zinchenko one bit. Um, who you played at centre back? Gabriel was on the bench the first two games, so he doesn't get in. What, what do you mean you don't get in? No, 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 no. We ain't doing this. We ain't doing this. <laughs> no, 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 no. The best centre back pairing in the league, or one of them, play play at Arsenal. Saliba and Gabriel. That's a shoe in. Hang on. How many goals have you boys conceded? Probably less than you. <laughs> How many have you conceded? Uh. You've conceded four, we've conceded five, and you've played... So less than you, so we've got a better defence. Thank you very you've much. United, you've, played played United. United. you've played United, Everton. Who the other three games? Forest. Palace. And who's the last and one? Who was the other game we had? Fulham. In fact, right, two, of played... two of our four goals have come in that Fulham game. And we've played United... Brentford, Bournemouth, Burnley, and Sheffield United. So we've had a harder start. We've conceded less. Gabriel and Saliba walk straight into that combined eleven. Oh, I guess guess what's funny, lad? Like, like, it's in the chat. He can't shoe all Nary Kane in this year, can he? <laughs> Not need to. Human song gets in. Saka, Saka <laughs> yeah. don't get in his eleven. You're tapped. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's been awful so far. Yeah, he, he has been crap. I can't lie. He has. I'm not. I'm not even lying. He has been awful this season. Yeah, it's but he's again, he got, assist, he got an assist yesterday, so that gives him a free pass, and nobody mentioned it because it's star boy. Yeah, like mate, I, there was a, just before the goal, three or four minutes before the goal, 
In fact, it was the goal. It came off of that corner. Yeah, I looked at him like when they zoomed in on his face, and he he it, maybe I'm reading too much into it. He looks like he just like knows he ain't on it. Like whether that be just performance wise, he's not he's not doing it. Whether mm. he's not playing at 100 percent of an injury. Yeah, but he looks so fed up yesterday. But the manager won't ever sub this guy off, mate. Yeah, we, we he was in the Southgate um, starting eleven for the Scotland game, and then told the manager, "I've got a problem with the Achilles. You're gonna have to take me out the starting eleven. Yeah, and then it turns out that he's had this since last season, since the end of last season. Well, that, that coincides. Well, wouldn't it make sense just to, to rest him for a couple of weeks? Exactly, that's what I'm saying, man. Me, me, Matt, Ian Oliver were saying this yesterday. Give him a break. Yeah, because if he's torn a couple of fibers in his Achilles, yeah, I did, I did this on the show the other day. It takes. Um, a few weeks just to heal him yeah but okay cool you can heal him sweet but if you're constantly playing every three days every three days every three days then you come to international break now you're playing again eventually he's gonna if, if he has got an issue with his achilles mate that's one nasty injury he's about to get yeah and i touch wood hope he don't yeah because if he does something bad to that achilles he could be out for one year Mm. Right, and the way he gets kicked, like yesterday, the right, uh, the left back, I can't remember his name. Um, oh, Milen- name. Milenko, it was called. That's him, that's him, yeah, mate. He went straight through him, yeah. And after that, he was anonymous. After that, oh, after yeah, that. I see yeah. it. Oh, we need protection for Saka, mate. Yeah. It's like there wasn't another 21 players on the field, mate. <laughs> maybe, maybe get him a Jurek sponsorship, <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, the geezer went straight through him. It was a bit of a naughty one, yeah. He didn't even get booked, the guy. Yeah, that, happened, to, that used to happen to Kane every week. Mm. But that's the thing, like, also, the way the way we play, yeah, Ben White overlapped quite a lot yesterday, put some nice crosses in as well. But the way we play, we don't help him out. Odegaard will float out to that side. Yeah, but when Odegaard's not on it like he wasn't yesterday, like, he's just face planting the floor, falling over, giving the ball away. Yeah, and then Saka's now isolated. He's got three players around him. There was a, there was a bit in that game where Saka's got the ball and he's running up the wing. Yeah, the only other player in shot, I think, was Eddie and Ketia. I think. I think it was Eddie. Eddie or Odegaard, one of them, right? And he had five players around him, mate. It's like, why are you not busting your lungs to get up there and help him out? Yeah, mm. he can't do it on his ones. Yeah, and he's, this is from last season, mate. He's continued that poor form from the last eight, nine games last season into this season. And he's not been good at all. It's not been good. He nutmegged that geezer yesterday. And then after that, the geezer got the ump, I think, and clattered him. And then after that, we didn't see him until he, he set up the goal. But, yeah, he's not on it, mate. He's really not. I'd drop him. I'll be honest. I'd would drop you him. drop him for a Tottenham game? Yeah, I probably would. Or maybe, maybe drop him for PSV and play him at Tottenham. Maybe, Yeah, maybe do that, yeah. Or maybe just have him on the bench. Mate, this guy's played nearly 250 games for club and country. And he's 22. 250 games. He's played 29 times for England and he's played 190, I think, for Arsenal. Nearly 250 mm. games. Yeah, it's crazy. This is why when people say, oh, we've got a young team, go and have a look how many games Martin Odegaard's played in his career. Yeah, he's, he's been, this is his 10th season of professional football, Odegaard. 10th season. He's won one trophy. Yay, world class. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, um, charity shield. No, no, he won the um, the cup in Spain. Copa del Rey. Yeah, but um, but yeah, if you look how many games he's actually played on the card, then have a look how many games Saliba's played. This is Saliba's full full season. Speaking of Spain, did you watch Real against uh, Sociedad last night? Kieran Tierney nightmare disaster class. You know what? They they, <laughs> they looked up on the seventy fifth minute. <laughs> they they played really well, Sociedad, really well. They should have. Their goal got disallowed. The second one, they would have been two 0 up. But the first goal played. was brilliant. Oh, I was sick, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a sick goal. But yeah, they got um, Yosselu scored back stick header. Kieran Tierney ball watching. Not good enough, Kieran. Not good well, enough. He's, mate. Well, he's you know. I right, that that Garcia at Real Madrid though. He got he he he's decent, man. The left back, he's very good. It's the first game this season where Jude hasn't uh, contributed, is it? And he still got man of the match, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he did get man of the match. Wait, the guy's a superstar. I think he's only. I think he needs three more goals to equal Eden Hazard's to- total goals at Real Madrid. <laughs> In like four years, wasn't that ridiculous? 
<laughs> yeah, he's been there four weeks and he's he's free behind. But yeah, it's crazy. Big up uh, Oliver uh, for the super chat. Says I tell you, if you give Trossard a run of games, you will see how he really is, like we never did with Pepe. But didn't Pepe go to Turkey? Yeah, Trav's on sport. Oh, I th- apparently, there were, um, who was it? There was a player that joined Turkey years ago, and there was two million people watching, like the um, you know when they like announced a player, the unveiling, yeah, w- uh, watching it live through the website. Two million people. Wow. In, it, was probably, um, it, was probably, it was probably Mesut Ozil. <laughs> it, it probably was when he went to Turkey. No, I, I, don't, I don't think it was. I think it was. Um, it wasn't for Galatasaray or Fenerbahce or Besiktas. It was what. It was another one. What, it wasn't Trezembor either. It was. Let me have a look. That's yeah, that's crazy. Big up Oliver. He's right though. You're, it's spot on, mate. It's spot on. Yeah, because we've not seen Trossard get a good run of games this since he's been here. Really, like when he first came, we put him in the team for a little bit, and he was class. And he got player of the month in March, and we didn't see him start a game in April. <laughs> What's that all it, about? It's, it's Istanbul Bat Bashakir. Didn't they do Man United one season in the Champions League? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man United a banner, I swear. But no, he's right. Trossard should get a run of games now that, that Martinelli's out. And he probably probably won't. He'll probably start somebody else there. Hopefully, hopefully Trossard starts because I think he's class, man. I really do. And um Without his goal yesterday, we would have been coming out of there with totally different vibes than we are now. Yeah, we well, would have been like, oh, that's, two, mate, or that's two points dropped. Oh, no, our city are clear. Oh, my God, we've got Tottenham coming up soon. Right? Do you know what I mean? Like, the vibe would be different. So that was a big goal if you want to try Wait, and overtake. see the vibes on Sunday at 3.45 p.m. when Big Ann just turned up. The vibes at 3.45 p.m. on Sunday will be exactly how they are every half time against you lot. Do you remember that season? Was it Nuno? And we were freeing it up in about half an hour. <laughs> yeah, Smith yeah, Rowe, I'm, I'm, and... kind of I'm not even joking. Listen, everyone who watches me, right, and you know me as well offline, everyone who knows me knows that I'm so, I, I have these feelings for this football club, it angers me, right? And I find it hard to praise this football club to do anything until it wins stuff, right? But let me tell you, I don't get hyped, I don't get gassed, I don't go over the top, blah, blah, blah. We are hammering you this weekend. You, you don't think there's a chance we can win? Nope. Get a draw? Nope. Well, footballers are humbler, isn't it? So <laughs> We are battering you this weekend. Yeah, we're about to burst your bubble, my friend. Yeah, I, because... quite honestly, I, I can't see it. That's because you've got them Spursy glasses on, Henry. <laughs> yeah, well, hang on. I don't know where the glasses have gone, actually. There you go, look. <laughs> now, all jokes aside, if you didn't play, if you didn't have a game against PSV midweek, I would say, yeah, Arsenal are going to batter us. You've got to go full strength against PSV. And that'd be yep. three games in seven days where we can just sit back, you know, cheers, guys. Yeah, but that, that, that's that's also, it's, it's looking like a good thing at the moment because you've got the points on the board. But you don't want one game a week. Yeah, you want to keep that momentum going. You want another game on Wednesday, then a game on Sunday, and just get into that mode. Yeah, and that sharpens up the fitness, builds the confidence up. But, yeah, I don't see any way you get anything. I can't lie. I think this is going to be a, a real humbler for you lot. A real humbler. Because nah, just... mate, every game every game that I've watched of Celtic, yeah, and it's not loads. I'm not going to pretend I watch Celtic, but me and my pals are both Celtic. Yeah, and I've been in the bar quite a lot with them, watching the game, Real Madrid, Shakhtar, all of that night in the Champions League. If they had a striker at Celtic, they would have been 5-0 up at half-time against Real Madrid. I am not even exaggerating. Yeah, he's a decent manager, Ange. Right? But the reason I'm bringing that up is because he's implemented that exact style of play at your, your club now. Yeah, You've got play literally your camps on the edge of their box. Yeah, you've got, you've got players all over the place. Yeah, You are so easy to counter-attack. I'm telling you yeah, right now. If you now, don't have Saka, I say he's got to be rested. And you don't have Martinelli. What's your front three going to be? Inketia, Jesus, and Trossard. Mm, well, Saka a start. Saka's hundred percent starting the game. Whether I want him to or not is irrelevant. He's starting the game, so it'd be Trossard, Jesus, Saka, Odegaard just behind, Declan Rice pulling the strings. Yeah, but we're gonna have we're gonna Fabio have Vieira on the right. Fabio Vieira will probably start. He played all right yesterday. 
And um, oh, yeah, oh, what, you've seen Vieira, we know he comes from Portugal. Matt, honestly, the, the geezer's built like a chip. <laughs> it's funny because when he went down on he went down on the floor so easy yesterday at one point, right? <laughs> and he was holding his leg, he was rolling around. Yeah, I said I said on the watch line, I was like, between me and if you put me in and stood next to each other, there is still more fat on a chip. <laughs> there is. We're both we're both built like a shoelace, literally. It's crazy, but no, honestly, like somebody said, arrogant FC. I'm not arrogant, mate. Like I am the least arrogant Arsenal fan. On the planet, yeah, I can't understand fair. anything about this football club, mate. It's a disgrace. It's been a disgrace since this lot won a title. Yeah, but yeah, I do think we're gonna we're gonna hammer you lot. I can't lie. I, I genuinely do. And I was, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it since uh, since um, the end of the international break all week. I'm thinking, right, we're gonna top them soon. Yeah, and then I see your result, all oh, you jammy bastards. Yeah, got the win, eighth, twelfth minute, whatever it was. Thought, yeah, do you know what? You're you're due a humbling, mate. Yeah, because if Sheffield United can nearly keep you out, right? On nearly, on I nearly. Well, we should have. Had, I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not one to make excuses on ref. You know that. But that ref mm. was awful, mate. We should have had, probably should have had two penalties. We had Definitely. a goal. Madison out. was 100 a penalty. Oh, I, that's the thing. On another day, that is a penalty. So why is it, why is it not being looked at? Well, they did look at it. They just deemed it not an obvious error. <laughs> the, the thing that gives me, let me get this in chat, buddy. Yeah, Rido says. Kubo is unreal. Who there was Kubo? The social dad. Oh, right. Okay. I'll, I'll be honest with that. Like Japanese about. guy, man. Yeah, he's decent. He's all right. I mean, I'll take it. They've got some good players for our social dad. Kieran Tierney is now their best player, but they have got some, some very good players. <laughs> You're standing <laughs> right. with this Kieran Tierney prop, aren't you? The fellow who scored the, their goal last night, he's, he's decent. Very good player he is. But right, so let's, let's say, right? Let's say Fulham. Got in quite easily behind. Nottingham Forest got in quite easy behind. Brandon Johnson, if he had that chance and put it away, who knows? Man United got in easily behind. Who's to say that Son and Gareth Bow and R9 can't do that? Ain't happening. <laughs> Ain't happening, mate. Honestly, it is not happening. But you I'm here to tell you right now. Home we don't care. Now. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. You... Your fans are going to be relentless this week. All of the content creators are going to be hyping it all up. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's the best opportunity. It's the biggest London, North London derby. It's the most competitive North London derby and all of this rubbish. And then, and then at five o'clock, yeah, next Sunday, whenever it is, when do we play? What time's kickoff? It's 3 p.m. Spanish time. 3 p.m. Spanish time. not the main yeah. event. The main event is Sheffield United versus Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, good one. All right, so... By 5 p.m. Spanish time, all of your content creators are going to be having a meltdown. Yeah, because it's going to be a three or a four. I'm telling you, right? Somebody in this chat said, I'm deluded. We ain't even playing that. You only scoring four goals know. against us. We're not playing very well. I'm not going to lie. But that is the game plan. Yeah, it's not to not play well, right? But the game plan is not go stupid like we did last season because in his, in his head, yeah, it's uh, the hamster spinning the wheel and all of that in his head. He's thinking, the little monkey like symbols. Yeah, <laughs> a bit like Man City in the Champions League. They they were getting done over year after year at the latter stages of the Champions League because they were too, too on it. Yeah, they then decide, right, we're going to sit back. We're not going to be too offensive, blah, 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 blah. And they won it. I think that's what he's trying to do this season. He's saying, right, let's not go too... Yeah, we want to try and win the game. You're one of the favourites to win the Champions League. Yeah, I don't know how that works, if I'm being honest. You haven't been in it in seven years. I think, I think we're above Real Madrid. It's like, does, who, who does these odds? Now, I'm not even joking. I think we're, I think we're above Real Madrid. I think they're longer odds. It's like, okay, but no, honestly, I think, I think we're going to turn you over quite, quite a big score, mate. Or yeah, yeah, mate, Gary's right. Or maybe you're just not as good as last year. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out at the end of the season. But yeah, man, we all know we're not winning the league. But it's what it is, isn't it? Is what it is. I do think we'll beat you quite comfortably because, like, your goalkeeper's pretty good. Yeah, the centre back that you thought's decent. Yeah, he started all right for you, lot. Madison's oh, playing. Man, well. He looks like Jan Vertonghen all over. He's a good player. He's so far from what I've seen, he's looked all right. Yeah, and he's given you a bit of stability at the back now that you didn't have when you had Dyer there or Sanchez. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just listen. We know what's going to happen. Romero's getting red carded. Yeah, because <laughs> he's a red card waiting to happen. He hasn't. He hasn't been like that so far this season. 
No, but he ain't faced anyone like Jesus yet, has he? Well, we got What's Brazil's. We got Brazil's number nine. You got Brazil's number thirty-eight or whatever he is. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm telling you, Trossard and Jesus, he, he's getting sent off. He's getting sent off. What, what happens if we beat you, though? Well, if you beat us, I'll come on here next Monday. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say, do you know oh, what? No, don't worry, what you're doing the fan cam after the game, don't worry. I'll do the fan <laughs> cam and yours, giving it large and in charge. <laughs> When's the last time we drew? Because didn't we draw? Didn't we play a game where it was one all where Kane got a penalty? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Some some of the games we've had have been really good games, yeah. And then some of them have just been crap, in they over the years? Oh yeah, so, yeah I hope, what, the worst North London derby I think was when it was it was two all, and I think that no, was one all, and Bamyang missed the penalty at Wembley. Mm, there was another one at Wembley where you beat us one nil, and Lacazette went clean through in stoppage time and put it wide. <laughs> I, oh, mate, yeah, I was, ben, I was in the ground that day, mate. You, if you could have heard what our fans were saying. Mate. <laughs> Swear. they wanted his head on a spike <laughs> literally yeah because we were like because well, we played crap that day you should have battered us yeah you mm. should have battered us that day and then we got in right in the last kick of the game and he puts it wide crazy another bad one was when um thomas riziki fought 2014 scored in the first minute that game was shocking one one nil yeah that was a bad game yeah abamyang scored from a doozy assist yeah that goal was a decent goal but yeah, we've had some good games at the Emirates. The 4-2, I was at that one. Yeah, when Eric Dyer and Deli Ali were giving it all of that. Yeah, to the North Bank. Yeah, I did that. That Rover was centre off. Aaron Ramsey, it's all kicking off, and you told him to go and sit back down. Like, yeah, that went well. Yeah, it sets up a Bamiyang for the third. I was right behind that goal, man. I was right behind it, just off the post. As soon as he hit that, right, everyone knew, man. It, we, we was in. Lloris must have been drunk that day because he didn't even dive. And then uh, Lucas Torreira whipping it off, showing his six pack. Yeah. Great, great memories. Ultimately, it led to nothing, but <laughs> just funny seeing Eric Dyer and Deli Ali in the mud. But yeah, it's, it's mad. But you know what's crazy? Yeah, the atmosphere in the North London derby is just different to any other game. Like, I don't yeah, see for you. For me, rivals. it's the best game in the Premier League. Yeah, I don't see you as rivals, as you know, but yeah, it is different. Like, when well, you go. Well, we're title race rivals. So, well, we're in a tight way, Sam Reed, you know what I mean? <laughs> but when you go to the game, when you go to the ground, you know, like the atmosphere, it's like you can feel it and, and you can hear it. Same with Man United, but it's a different type. Yeah, but they're the two games of the season where like the fans are there an hour and a half, two hours. It's buzzing around outside the stadium. Mm. No, like everyone's on it, ready to get in there. Yeah, it's like not, you still have people turning up late and stuff like that, but that ground will be stuffed full of people. Yeah, about 10 minutes before kickoff. Whereas that don't really happen in any other game. Maybe Man United, but yeah, you can I mean, show you the league table all you like, screenshot, maybe print it on a t shirt, mate. Uh, you know, we, we had well, some one of your fans did that last year, didn't he? Yeah. Merry Christmas, you feel for animals. <laughs> Shameless, embarrassing. But yeah, look, the table table for you guys, screenshot it. Obviously, you've got the, the video footage here. You can come back to this. Obviously, it's what the 16th. The 18th of September, even. I need glasses. Um, yeah, who can't read now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Five to four on a Monday afternoon in Spain. And uh, you lot, not lost a game yet. Well done. Well done. Well, score more goals. You've only scored nine goals. Yeah, man. Two of them have been penalties. On, you, beat, hang on. you beat Palace 1 0, Everton 1 0, Forest was 2 1. Fulham was 2-2. And what was the other game? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Let me have a look at our fixtures. We've, got, we've had um, eight different goal scorers so far. 1-0 right, well, against Everton, obviously. Oh, 3-1. I think I missed the three against Man United. All oh, right, yeah, caution. But you, 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 like you won the title. Well, yeah. I mean, it's you've got, you got to be a, a, a bad team to concede to United, didn't you? Um, <laughs> Obviously, we, you know, we just we just steamrolled them, didn't we? What did you did, make of United, by the way, losing at home to Brighton? Did you see their third goal, Pascal Gross's goal? Did you see how many oh. touches and then thirty-four players, passes, Man United, it, or thirty-three passes? Unbelievable, mate. Yeah, but then then Man United players weren't even trying to get the ball back. Mm. They were just walking. 
it was embarrassing absolutely embarrassing and then the butcher <laughs> i think the butcher's vegan <laughs> i think he's vegan <laughs> honestly yeah he, he's not the butcher like do me a favor yeah unbelievable jeff yeah mate they are poor man yeah and they brighton obviously good. brighton have beaten newcastle and united in their first five games newcastle yesterday i didn't think were that great either i'm not gonna lie i thought they were okay you know one nil, one nil penalty against uh brentford and i think they've got champions league this week against is it milan or dortmund it's in milan away i'll be doing a watch along and lee reacts for that so make sure you come and check that out yeah I think but yeah I, they're I mean, um, they're a shambles man united they got Bayern on wednesday it's a shame they're playing the same night as us in the Champions League because I would have done a watch along for that, mate. They who do you think? Who do you think wins the, the sacking award? Eric Ten Games or Pochettino? Ten Hag. I think it's going to bring in. Bring Ollie back. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of um, United fans saw on Twitter saying that they'd go and get the Zerbi. Yeah, but the, this is the thing, right? Everyone's jumping up and down for this De Zerbi. Mate, they play with no pressure every week. There's no pressure on them to win anything. If they lose the next four games, you ain't getting sacked. So there's mm -hmm. no pressure. They can play with more freedom. You know, half of the players that are there are only there to get a move to a bigger club. So there's no pressure. It's a, different, it's a different type of pressure walking into Man United. Yeah, a different type of pressure walking into Arsenal, Chelsea, all of these clubs. Yeah, so yeah, he might look good and he plays great football. Ultimately, they don't win nothing, and they haven't for 122 years in their history. A major honour. And um, he'll go to a bigger club, a top six club one day, maybe, and he ain't going to do nothing. If you was a United fan, though, let, like, let us know in the chat. If you were a United fan, who would you want as the next manager? Because it's not going to be Zidane, is it? It's not going to be Simeone. Conte? <laughs> I'm just looking at the comment above the one you just put. <laughs> Look at the name on the account. <laughs> your chat's mad. I can't lie. You get these in your chat every day. Yeah, all the time, mate. This chat's wild. <laughs> yeah, I, I am sitting on you, mate. So big up. Well, Hansi um, Flick's available. Nigelsman's available. I don't Conte's think they'll get available. Who is? Potter's available. Graham Potter's available. What about Conte? <laughs> Conte's available, isn't he? He ain't got a job at the minute. Yeah, but and they, I don't think United are going to... I think available. their fans, a lot of their fans, would quite happily not win anything if they if they play attractive football. No, Man, Man United fans are uh, the reason that that club's finished. It was funny, because when I was doing the watch-along, right, they're all sitting in the stadium, all in their new shirts, right, all cheering, jumping up and down, they're waiting for the game. And then you see a couple of kids with the Norwich scarves in their brand new tops that Dad's bought them. Yeah, paid to get in the ground, holding up your Norwich Norwich scarves. Like you've just paid seventy quid for a kit for the shirt, right? Probably got name and number on the back, so that's another score. Yeah, that's now ninety quid. Yeah, you've paid probably what fifty, sixty quid to get in the ground, and then you've got the audacity to hold up a Norwich mm -hmm. scarf. Yeah, these people. This is the reason that club's buried, mate. And the size of that football club. Yeah, they've tried to pay their way out of it and get like spend the money, but. <laughs> The spending on shit, Mason Mount. Mason he's awful, Mount, mate. he's absolutely awful. The goalkeeper. There was a stat at one point. Yeah, he made a couple of saves in stoppage time, but he's faced ten shots this season and conceded seven. <laughs> and um, didn't they spend fifty million on him or something? Yeah, forty, fifty, something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Joseph said, "Would you take De Zerbi at Arsenal?" No, thanks. I don't who would you take if you, if you can't get Simeone or Neil Zidane? Who are you taking? Ancelotti, just tell him swerve Brazil. Yeah, you're coming to Arsenal to the Asna. You're coming to the Asna. Would he take the Arsenal job? I think Ancelotti would have took it a few years back when Wenger went. I think he, I think he would have done bits as well. That's who I wanted, and I wanted him when Emery got sacked. Yeah, he's a quality manager, man. Did you know what he does as well? He just lets he don't overcomplicate the game. Plays players in the right positions. Go and do your thing. None of this inverted stuff. Nope. The, Gar the Garcia lad that plays at left back, he's up and down the wing. None of this inverting. Yeah, Jude Bellingham, masterclass, puts him at number 10 and says, you're number 10, mate. Unbelievable. Yeah. Who would have thought playing Jude Bellingham at number 10? Because he ain't played number 10. He's a number eight. Yeah. <laughs> he's, in 
Now you play him higher up the pitch, and you know what? He's got every attribute to be a sick number ten. Yeah, he's tall, he's physical, scores goals, creates goals, passing vision. Like he's a quality player, number ten, second striker, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, Ancelotti is a sick manager, mate. Yeah, Rodrigo and Vinicius. Go do your thing. Just go do your thing. Yeah, it helps when you got Modric or Chuameni or Cruz, <laughs> like Camavinga. Yeah, it helps when you got players like that in midfield to allow these players. But don't see none of this inverted rubbish. Oh, did you see Valverde's goal? Oh yeah, that was decent. Decent just remember, goal. Just remember, remember, he will, he will do bits this year. Yeah, well, he, he did all right last year, but I just don't. Well, rate you said him you didn't rate him. No, I, I don't rate him as highly as everyone else. He's over. So say Maximum scores a worldie. Right, an absolute worldie match it winner. Worldie. It was a worldie. And then, yeah, and then Valverde scores. So, you know, and then Spurs win at the Emirates. And so what, happened that... Lee's boy, what happened to Lee's boyfriend Tierney last night? Mate, he played all right until he switched off for their second goal, which ultimately was the winner. So, and then he rightly so got hooked because in Spain, unlike England, there's accountability. Yeah, you were switching. Do you know what? Well, Real Madrid haven't been like they've won a lot of their ga games by one goal. They haven't, I don't think they've been. They've not been great. They've, they've been scored no. right at the death. They've not been great, but they're they're very like City. They'll get better and better. Do you know what's funny as well in that game? Yeah, check this. In that game, the Yosinu's goal, second goal, the one that Tierney cocked up for, and then the accountability kicked in. And he got taken off. Yeah, because that's what they do in this country. But just before that goal, two minutes before that goal. Real Madrid fans, the whole stadium was booing Real Madrid. Yeah. They were booing them. Right? I was watching and the game. They were, going the them. they were booing them because Sociedad had more of the ball and they couldn't get the ball back off them. And there was a pattern of play and they weren't getting the ball. Real Madrid fans en masse were booing them. Yeah. Two minutes later, Real Madrid score. Like I said, it's almost like accountability works, isn't it? But oh, you're so toxic. I do me a favor. Yeah. If, if these English clubs weren't infested with losers, we might do better. Like we might all have a go at Europe or taking it seriously in the league because in Spain, Italy, and all these other countries, you're held accountable mid game, mid game at one one at home. Yeah, their whole stadium is booing them, absolutely booing them. Two minutes later, goal, win the game. Yeah, who was it? Sergio Ramos said, "Yeah, we like being booed. It gives us accountability and knows we ain't playing well." Yeah, I think I think um, Marcelo you think said, "Madrid win the Champions League." They're winning everything this year. No, Bro, trust sure. me, they are winning everything. He is not leaving that football club without winning everything. Well, he's, gonna, he's, he's leaving in the summer, isn't he, Ancelotti? I think he's, it'll be, well, it's between three teams, isn't it? He's, buying, he's, winning the, he's definitely winning the league. Well, not that not that uh, hipster's manager, Shabby. Who's the other team? Isn't there another team up there as well? Um... Atleti got panned by Valencia 3-0. <laughs> they won 7-0 they won last week. And then got panned oh, just before the international. And then they got panned 3-0. Um, Girona Atleti. are playing tonight. If Girona win, where do they go? Uh, they go to, they'll go third. second. Well, nah, second. Is, is on, only on five, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah, Barca ain't winning nothing this season, mate. Trust Did me. they get promoted, Girona? Mm, I don't think so. I don't you think sure? so. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. No, they're in the league last. No, they were in the league last. Oh, season. they finished tenth yeah. last year. Because they they were high. They were quite high up for a lot of it, and then fell off. But but yeah, it's mad. It's it's mad. But yeah, I, mate, Real Madrid have walked the title. Five wins out of five. Three goals conceded. Ten goals scored. Averaging two goals a game. Not being great at the minute. You know that they're going to have a chance in the Champions League. They always do. So yeah, I think um, I think they'll they'll have a go in the Copa del Rey. They obviously won it last year. And again, accountability. All of their fan base, and this is the difference between that club and every other football club. Yeah, they do not have idiots online. Every other fan base, pretty much, apart from maybe City, yeah, have idiots online. Yeah, if you go if you go to Real Madrid, uh Twitter, their official Twitter, when they lose a game or draw a game, everyone's on the same page. There's not a single excuse in the comments. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, when Arsenal lose a game, excuse Central, innit? When, they, when, they, when Man City battered them, battered them, when Man City battered them, yeah, right? Florentino Perez went in the dressing room, 
just looked at him, gave him the death stare, and just walked out. Didn't speak to him. Yeah, disgusted. Yeah, and then they the whole. You imagine Daniel was, Levy doing that. Imagine Josh Conkey or Stan Conkey doing. It. And then check this. They then, um, they then wanted their manager uh, Ancelotti sacked. The whole fan base wanted him sacked. I'm shocked he survived. I can't lie. Yeah, because Madrid normally would have sacked him, but they probably said, "Look, you're going next year. See you later." Yeah, I think the then, payout probably would have been massive, but Perez doesn't care, mate. If he wants you out, you're out. Yeah, normally, normally he would have been sacked, but they, they've um, they obviously had the deal for Jude Bellingham wrapped up. But this is again accountability. Everyone wanted him sacked. Yeah, Perez, the El Presidente, has gone in there, given the death stare, made it clear, and we're talking serial winners in that dressing room: Modric, Cruz, all the Courtois, and all of that lot. Yeah, yeah, top top players. Yeah, disgusted, and then they go out there. And they go and get Jude Bellingham. Then they go and get Oslo. Yes, he's not the greatest striker in the world, but he'll do a job. Yeah. Then they went. Then they went and got a few other players. Where they're getting from it was Espanol, wasn't it? I think. Can't remember. Whoever it was got relegated. Can't remember what team. I think it was, was. Espanol. Yeah. I think it was Espanol. I think you're right. I don't know. But anyway, when Arsenal lose to um, to Man City, our Twitter account heads up onto the next. No accountability. Hence why there's no pressure. These clubs in other countries, mate, they stick it on you. They tell you there's accountability, mate. Booing in the stadium. 1-1 one, one at home to Real Social. Look at the Lyon Ultras absolutely grilling, you know, their players. You'd never get that in the UK, ever. Nope. For starters, you can't, get a you can't even get a microphone into the ground because it's apparently a weapon. <laughs> you can't, you're right. You can't you're wear right. a in our ground. It's crazy, isn't it? Man said Yosselu don't look here. Yosselu's not a very good player, but the way they play uh, right now without Vinny Jr. in the team, he's injured. Yeah, he's, he's, he's still a lot here as well. Yeah, he's scored two and two. He's he's come. He's played two games. He's scored two goals. So ain't done too bad. But he ain't the main striker. Yeah, Vinny Jr. and Rodrigo. Yeah, they're they're the guys. But Vinny's out. I mean, and they're only what? The both of them are twenty-two, aren't they? Mate, they're, they're sorted Real Madrid, mate. Chuameni, Camavinga, Jude Bellingham, Rodrigo, Valverde. Vinny, Valverde. Militao's you know I mean? about 24 as well. Yeah, Garcia's young. Like, they've got some really good players. But I don't hear Real Madrid banging on about a youth project. Just saying. You know the reason what I think will be their downfall to work for why they won't win the Champions League is because the Courtois out. Kepa, Kepa had a mare yesterday. Oh, it, every every long-range goal ends up against him. Yeah, that's true. I remember Oli Skip, mate. Oli Skip scored a world here against Chelsea. Yeah, it's true. Kepra had more chance getting a hand on the sun, mate. Mm. Mate, it's mad. But no, I think I think they'll 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 definitely be in the race for the uh, for the Champions League. I'd say Man City are probably favourites, though, if I'm honest. Can you imagine if they did did um they they win, they're gonna win four in a row? Yeah, we know that. That's never been done before. Four in a row. Yeah, but now imagine if they do a treble again. Because they're definitely going to win the league. I don't think anyone's beaten them this season. They're going to walk it by a mile. I mate. think that someone was saying, uh, I think it might have been someone on Never Off Hour or another channel was saying, what's the motivation for Pep? And they said, do the quad, which has never been done. Go unbeaten. Because then Arsenal and, can't say it. Or do and the four treble in again. A row. And four in a row. Nobody's ever won the league four times in a row in England. If he does a treble again, do you think for you he's... Well, he's already the he greatest. If he does a treble mate. again, he's the greatest of all time, mate. He's in that category already. He's up there, isn't he? I still think Fergie's the best, but, but back to back um, trebles, though. That that'd be some. That'd be his treble, treble as well, because that would have been the third time he's done a treble. Yeah, because Madrid haven't done a treble, have they? It's Barca, Celtic, um, Ajax. Even Rangers do it as well. Porto, Inter. Yeah, I think Rangers I think... have done it. Mm, not sure, not sure. Bayern have but, done it. Yeah, Bayern done it. Yeah, but yeah, they don't happen often. Don't happen often at all, does it? Uh, at the end, end of the day, he, he's a top manager, Pep man. We all know that, right? But yeah, if they do that treble, mate, oh my days! If they do it again, oh, I wasn't. I wasn't Rangers. It was Celtic. Celtic have done it. Yeah, didn't so in sixty six. Was that the Lisbon Lions? 
yeah. I think it was. Um, but Arsenal have done it twice. Crazy. They've done it in 2008, 2009 and 2014-15. Bayern Munich have done it. City have done it. Unbelievable, isn't it? But yeah, if he, if he does it again, that would just be insane, mate. So it could have done eight eight trebles, the world record. But it does, is that domestic trebles? Yeah, that'd be domestic trebles. That must be domestic trebles. They've only done yeah. one treble, as in the Champions League. Well, they've done, they've done three on the spin. My baller. Yeah. My baller. Treble, treble winner. Well, it's, you know, <laughs> back in Spain, I mean. Yeah, left back. Which is left back, Garcia. Because they were playing Cam of England there last year, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nacho was injured most most of the um, games. Isn't Nacho like 34, 35 or something like that? Yeah, man. Mate, he's one of them. Look how many trophies the guy's won. <laughs> he's won five Champions Leagues, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's actually crazy. But, but they, they need they need another left back and they need another right back. Carver Howe's dusted. He's finished. Yeah, he's been a good player. But yeah, I think this will be his last season. Modric is going to go. Cruz is going to go in the summer. It's not like the replacements are bad, though, is it? Let's be real. Camavinga and Chua many. I mean, come on. Absolutely ridiculous. And, it, and they got them. In fact, they got all three of their midfielders, Bellingham, Camavinga, and Chua many for less than 200 million. Yeah, it's disgusting. Um, it's crazy, isn't it? Big up Taku. One second, yeah? Yeah, no, it's right. Big up Taku. Imagine City get a double treble in intervals and four beat in one season. That would be absolutely ridiculous. A big up to everyone down below. Let's try and get it up to 300 likes. We're 90 away. If you're downstairs and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, we're less than 500 away from 17K now. So big up to everyone down below. Um, and yeah, let's keep smashing those likes up to get it up to 300 ASAP. Um, let's you bring back Hakimi. I can't, I can't see that, to be honest. Uh, Paul, did you see Walker the other day uh, saying the players were saying which uh, way they might win the league this season? They might want to do it by 100 points. What do you think would be better for City? Do you think going unbeaten or doing the quad? Doing the quad? It's four trophies. Yeah, but people still say, oh, yeah, yeah, but you lost the game, you lost the game. Who cares? They've got the trophies. But Man City hold the record for the most wins as well, 32 or 33, whatever it is. Mm, yeah, but he broke Conte's record. When, when, we beat, um, when Conte beat you to the title... And we then beat him in the final, FA Cup final. <sighs> I was there. Do you reckon you win your cup final on Saturday, Sunday? <laughs> 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 right, we always win that. We always win that, mate. But um, yeah, he, he broke that record. He overtook Conte's record. So yeah, I think um, I th yeah, that comment you just had a minute ago about. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Arsenal versus Spurs, but chatting about Madrid. Because we're talking about the biggest football club in the world. Shows how dusted your two clubs are, bro. Big up Catalan 094. Bro, I know my club's dusted. Yeah, Henry's in delusion stage. He thinks Angeball is going to take him somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you know my thoughts, like, deep down. You know my thoughts, deep down. Um, no one is hyping us up more than you fans. Um, we play good ball and are happy amongst ourselves. Okay, big up to you, mate. Uh, Pep won the treble. Now he enjoys watching his team again. Do you what? What have Man City got to do under Pep to beat you know like Ferguson's dominant? Apart from keep winning titles, but yeah. like, could Pep win the next five leagues? Or do you think it's another team will come and win it? Nobody serious. Nobody serious, Henry. That's the only serious club in the Premier League. I think Liverpool are, are probably the closest at the moment. No one's talking about the fact that Jurgen Klopp in one window has completely he's brought in Endo, Gravenberch, and McAllister, changed their changed Sobosly as well. Yeah, Sobosly like completely changed their midfield. Like Arsenal couldn't do that. Mate, I watched them against Wolves. They weren't great. The scoreline didn't uh, didn't doesn't do it justice. Yeah, mate. didn't Wolf, do the game justice at all. Pedro Neto, another baller. Who knew? Two ACLs and he's better than most of the wingers in the league. Would you take him Arsenal? All day long. I wanted him at Arsenal years ago. The thing is, though, like... Before he'd done his I, first ACL. Well, he, he won't get in a team, though. He won't start at all. Mm. Unless yeah, you put Martinelli up front. But he can play left. He can play right. Yeah, he's a left-footed player as well. Yeah. Didn't they get rid of Podence? Wolves. Who? 
You know that the, the other Portuguese winger Podens, didn't he leave? Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he went. He went. I don't know where he went. He went somewhere. Might be east. Turkey. Yeah, I think he did go somewhere random. I thought, what's that all about? Did you see um Julian Draxler has joined the Qatar League? Has he? Yeah, he's gone to the same I think he's gone to the same team as Varane. Wow. Yeah, he went to Olympiacos Podens. Yeah, because I see I see saying yeah. um on Twitter saying that if people think what Saudi are doing is crazy, you wait till the Qataris get involved. And they're now saying that uh, Verratti and Drax are just testing the water and now they're going to pump billions into it. Yeah, of course they are. Bro, this is all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Activate Project Qatar. Activate Project Saudi. And now all of a sudden, our clubs will all be sitting there going, right, well, let's all get together and do a Super League then. It's all part of the plan. They tried to do the Super League. They tested the water. Everyone lost their shit over it like for no reason. I, I don't get it. I wanted a Super League. Yeah. I wanted a Super League. There's then no excuse at all. You're all allowed to spend whatever you want. You all get a massive amount, amounts of money. There's no FFP and all this crap, yeah? Go and do it. Get, I, I don't want to see us playing against Sheffield United and Luton. Sorry, mate. I'd rather us playing against Bayern Munich every week or Real Madrid or Barca. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's oh, it ruined the football pyramid. Turn it in. The football pyramid. This is the football pyramid, by the way. That sees Luton Town get promoted, get about three hundred million quid for for doing so, and spent about forty million in the summer. The same football and then pyramid. go back down, get another hundred million, yeah. and then come back up. So the football pyramid that sees Southampton be the worst team in the league last season, finish twentieth, and get more money than the next twenty six FA Cup winners combined. It's a, it's a joke. Yeah, the same. Say that again. Say that again. You have to, Tottenham would have to win, yeah, the FA Cup twenty six times in a row. To get the same amount of money Southampton got for getting relegated. Yeah? The football pyramid. No, the football pyramid's backwards, mate. They're the same football pyramid to see Sheffield United get promoted, get a shit ton of money for getting promoted, and then get, getting a profit in the transfer window, selling their best player. Like, pathetic. They're only here for the dough. Yeah, these teams, these teams that get promoted, that's why I thought, do you know what? Fair play to Nottingham Forest. At least they threw a load of dough at it and stayed in the league. Yeah. Yeah, they, they ain't gonna win anything, but at least they're trying. Yeah, Sheffield United and Luton, mate. Sorry, no, 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 no. They both deserve to get relegated. <laughs> so whoever's saying that's not true, it is true. The, the winning, the prize money for winning the FA Cup is seven million. I thought, I thought it was less than that. I thought it was three million. I think the Carabao Cup's about half a million. Pick up Sean in the chat. Uh, instead of live on TV. Yeah, make sure you go and check out Shameless Football People. Make sure I'm putting videos out on that channel as well, just talking about the Premier League, Champions League and the Europa League. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the chat right now. Oh, uh, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Bad. Get over to Lee, at Lee Gunner and Lee Reacts as well. My bad. It's two million for the winner. Yeah, I thought it was a lot less than that. It might be seven million in, in all... In all, in all, like in all, throughout the first stage. So check, of the so check this: semi-final winner gets a million. The loser of the semi-final gets half a million. The final runner-up, the loser, gets a million. The winner gets two two million. Right. So let me just check the um, the other rounds. So if you win it, you've got through a semi-final. There's a million, and you win the final. There's so that's three million total. I don't know what this web page is doing there. In loading. Yeah, you ain't getting any more than seven million out of that FA Cup, but you'll get well over two hundred million by getting relegated. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So you could do a cup double. You could do a cup double, and for winning them two finals, you get two and a half million quid. No wonder teams just throw reserve players out in them. Yeah, because if you finish one place higher up in the league, you're getting more than that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it to be honest. But this no, is why. These teams will want a Super League. You get in the Champions League, though, you get millions. Crazy, isn't it? That's why they want a yeah. Super League. And then they tried to do the Super League. The fans weren't convinced. So all of these rich, powerful billionaires, because there's only about 3,000 of them on the planet, they would know each other indirectly or directly. Cool. Let's activate Saudi. And if you notice, they all threw the money this summer out of nowhere. They've just all started buying players. Yeah, that's premeditated. That's pre-planned. Now Qatar. Do you think this this Saudi league was already 
plan. That's been planned for years. Mate, the Super League's been planned for about 30 years. Yeah, they were talking about Super League back in the day, mate, like when David Dean was at Arsenal. It's all part of the plan. Yeah, but they have to build it up, get the global audience and all of this, get all the eyes on the Premier League, build it up, build it up, build it up. Then they tried to do it and everyone went mad. So it was like, cool, we're all pulling out of that. We won't do that. Okay, cool. Just activate Saudi now then. Yeah, so now it's, oh, well, we can't compete with the Saudi League. So now FIFA are getting involved and FIFA are being run, running, uh, running the Super League. I guarantee it, mate. Next five years, that's happening. Yeah, and now Qatar are getting involved. They've got Verratti out there. They've got a few other players out there. And then in the January or summer window coming up, both of them countries are going again, Qatar and Saudi. I think Saudi spent nearly a billion quid. Yeah, which in the grand scheme of yeah, things for their country is peanuts. Yeah, but it was, it was about half of what we spent in the Premier League. They just done that in one window. Yeah, we've built up and built up and built up. Years, well, years, right? years. The, we're, the Premier League is already a, a Super League when you look at the amount of money we're spending. Like teams like Bournemouth going and putting 40 million quid down on the table for, for players like Zaniolo. Mm. Like, it's mad. Look, we are, we are going to wrap up. We are going to be redirecting um, to Shameless Football. Make sure you get over and check that out. Um, there's a video you, you, right is now. Your second, is that your second channel, is it? <laughs> yeah, mine is yours, mate. <laughs> oh, your mate. Oh, my mate. Off. My mate, Sean. <laughs> yeah, the guy that you uh, you even clashed a little bit with. Oh, he just couldn't act facts and stormed off the stream. He's Left. in the chat. You want to say hello? Here he is. Big up, Sean. Hopefully, he's calmed himself down. Facts, facts, facts. We only did in facts about the club. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> you're all right, mate. But yeah, mate, we're going to be redirecting over to that. So make sure you go and subscribe to that channel and like that video. Uh, make sure you have subscribed to this channel as well. Um, we're closing in on a, on 16.6K. Get over to Lee, at Lee Gunner and at Lee Reacts. Uh, what you got coming out over the next couple of days? Uh, podcasts in and out just over an hour and a half with Kenny and Jez. And that'll be me done for the day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm on with Rants at half two um, UK time. Straight after that, I'm on with Terry. And I'll have, and then I'll be doing a watch along for the AC Milan Newcastle game on the Reacts. So yeah, busy day tomorrow, man. Busy day. Yeah, what, what's the that's that's the early kickoff though, isn't it? The, the Newcastle game, isn't that quarter to six? Um, let's have a look. Champions League. Oh, it is. Yeah, quarter. Yeah, quarter to seven Spanish time. And Milan got absolutely spanked in the Milan derby as well. So like, yeah, Newcastle got a chance, man. Everyone's writing Newcastle off in that group. They have a chance, mate. Yeah, they've I got a chance. They, uh, Dortmund, they went out. Well, look, we, we are going to wrap up. Um, me and Lee will be live on his channel um, Friday doing some sort of um, North London derby predictions, looking at the game of the weekend where Tottenham are going to run right. Um, but yeah, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, like the video on the way out. And uh, we are out of here, people. Leave me in. I thought he was going to say I'll take her out. But yeah, we're out of here. <laughs>